The Commandant's planning guidance is trying to pivot the force back to you know, its amphibious roots uh, with an Indo-PACOM mindset. That, that obviously requires a partnership with the Navy. I, I feel like EOTG is where the rubber meets the road. EOTG is the training cadre that works with MUSE, MAGTAFs, and other designated forces to train and certify them for deployment. The EOTG is a pretty unique place in which all of these aspirational goals that we have in the Marine Corps of where we're taking our service actually get tried out, experimented on, uh, and, and then provide feedback to the service you know, right here off the coast of Southern California. Today, the students are conducting their 14-day period of aerial sniper course. They're going to be providing the precision fires from an aerial platform, which they're going to be tested out today in their pre-qualifications, rigging the aircraft system, pilot's brief, and engaging the five targets they have to be able to qualify with. The capabilities of what EOTG provides, what our course provides, is to give the commander another platform to be able to provide precision fires from either the urban environment or the aerial platform, provide uh, capabilities to cover ground movements, air platforms, to be able to do VBSS missions, and to uh, be able to have that precision fires capability from the ground and in the air. The MU is understood to be uh, America's crisis response force. Um, one of the things that MUSE can do is a host of uh, foreign humanitarian assistance, non-combatant evacuation operations, embassy reinforcement. That means that the MU can respond to a crisis uh, in most places of the world, get on the deck, assess the situation, create a foothold there in which we can start to flow things like water purification, medical capabilities. We have the tools and we train them in that rapid response planning process to be able to respond to a crisis like that. As we partner with uh, Third Fleet to build the ARG MU, we're allowed to look at previous MUs, we're allowed to look at the Commandant's planning guidance and other emerging concepts. We're able to tailor the training so that the subsequent MU is able to meet the needs that we see arise. That makes EUTG pretty exciting because we're allowed to manipulate that training curriculum to be current. <laughs>